Hey guys, Fahad Zaman here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to show you how to go live on YouTube using your smartphone and I am going to show you free live streaming app that is available for both Android and iOS user and it's also available for PC users. The app I am talking about is called Prism Live Studio. The link of this app is available in the video description. After opening the app, you will see the interface like this. You can use this app in either portrait mode or landscape mode. And the first thing I want you to look at the right, you will see the profile image. And if I tap on that, next to my name, you will see a little gear icon. If I tap on gear icon, it will open up even more settings. Right at the top, you see my account. If you tap on my account, you can log out or you can delete your account. Now here is stream destinations. If I tap on stream destinations, this is where you can connect all of the platforms that you want to stream out to. You can stream to multiple platforms at once. Another thing is that you can choose the video settings the resolution now by default it's set to 1080p streaming quality which is higher than youtube's default if your internet speed is slow you can take it down to 720p or 480p or even 360p i am going to set it at 720p for this video now in general you will see conceal watermark if you do not want the prism watermark on your stream or your video, you can remove it by turning on. You don't have to pay any money, it's absolutely free. Now go back to the live streaming screen. At the top left corner, you will see three little dots and if I tap on that, it will open a little interface. And if you are in photo mode, you can turn the flash on and off. And you can turn the mic on and off. You can turn the camera on and off. And you can view in full screen. You can also turn it on and off. Under that, you will see flip front facing camera. Now what this does is, it literally rotates your camera. If you have something written on your shirt, then you can use this option. Underneath that, you have save video after streaming. If you toggle that on, what will happen is after you have finished your live stream, it will take your live stream and turn it into a video and save it into your phone gallery. Now over to the right of that, you will see a recycle button. It will switch the cameras on your phone. You can use the front camera or back camera. Now if I swipe to the left, this is a pretty cool feature. Let's say that you want to show something on your screen while live streaming. You can add photo, video, music or even website, which is really cool. I have never seen this before on any other app. Now if you look down at the very bottom, you're gonna see three words. You are gonna see live, video and photos. And you can see a yellow dot on top of the word live. That means we are using a live streaming feature. However, if I wanted to swipe over to video, that would activate the video feature. And if I wanted to swipe over once again to photo, that would activate the photo feature. Now let's go back to live streaming screen. Now let me show you how you can add some effects on your live stream and this is also where you add stickers and emojis and that will show on your live stream while you are broadcasting. And to get to those head down to the bottom left hand corner and tap on the little pencil icon. Now the first row that you have here, these are things that you have used in the past. For example, for fun, I have done something like this or even this. But you can also add some really cool effects. And if you look down at the bottom, you will see another row of icons. You can tap on those and you can add frames, GIFs, etc.
Moving to the right, this is drawing feature. Now right at the bottom you have a bunch of color options. You can choose any color and change the pen size by tapping right here. And here are different types of pen tool. You have a standard pen tool or you can have a glow. Now I am not going to draw something on here but I am just giving you an idea of what you can actually do. And I think this is a really cool feature. If you want to draw or write something on your screen at the right side, here is an icon with three little circles on it. If you tap on that, it will open up filters. And it works just like any other app filters. You can find the filters that you like. And just tap on it and see what it looks like. If you click and hold, you can adjust the intensity of that look. Once you find the right filter that you want, simply tap on done and then tap on the screen again and then you will have the filter applied to your live stream or video. Now let me show you how you can go live. So here is the ready button at the bottom. So tap on the ready button to start live streaming. Here you have your channel name and it's public. If I tap on that, I can show it to public where everyone can see it. I can unlist it or I can set it to private. And it's gonna show you what resolution you are live streaming. If you want, you can change it. At the top, you can see adaptive bitrate. It means the bitrate will adopt to your network connection. So if your internet is little bit slow, the app will help push your signal up. And that's really cool feature. It's on right now, but if I turn it off, you will see all the features down at the bottom that are now be able to be changed. So of course, you can change your resolution here. You can change the bitrate. So if you want to push up a higher quality, you can do it right here. This is set for 4000, but you can set it all the way up to 6000. Under that, you have frame rate. You can do 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. If you want, you can add the title of your live streaming. You can add any title you want. YouTube live test. Now when you are ready to go live, you simply hit the go live button and that's it. So give this video a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Comment down below if you have any question and I will thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.